so I am doing another assumptions video because you guys seem to really like the last one. And so I kept all your assumptions from last time. So I have a lot to still choose from. So I'm just gonna go down the list that I have and hopefully you'll get to know me a little bit better. You're a bad driver. I wonder what vibes I give off. <laughs> I don't think I'm a, a terrible driver, but bad, bad is, a, isn't that strong? Not too bad of a driver. Like my driving records, it wouldn't say I was a bad driver. I'll say that. There have been people maybe that have been in my car that would say differently. I get very stressed driving. Everybody's like in a mood and I'm like, I, I don't like when people are mean. Just like drive. I love a LaCroix assumption. Your favorite LaCroix flavor is coconut. I don't know why coconut, because I don't think I've ever had a coconut in a, in a video. But no, I think my favorite, oh, it used to be Pomplemousse, then it went to lime, then it went to the pure, like no flavor. And now I'm thinking key lime and I'm really liking the tangerine. I'm the biggest LaCroix fan ever. I love them all, except for the one that everybody likes, the limoncello one or whatever. LaCroix sent me like this box of like new ones and they were so good, but I've never seen them in the stores. Oh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> so if LaCroix, if you're watching this by chance, um, hook your girl up. Next assumption, you don't like to drink. Yeah, I like to drink, but I'm not like, I don't like to get drunk. I like to have a glass of wine for sure. I love having a great cocktail. I just love the way it tastes. Like I love like the trying to understand what the notes of the wine are. I love like doing the whole waft and the I don't really like drink to get drunk. I don't really like having to deal with that the next day. Have I gotten drunk before? Yes. I've also used drinking in an unhealthy way and had that in my family and I just, I, I like to drink, I don't like to get drunk. Okay, next assumption, you're better at saying goodbye to unhealthy relationships. I guess that assumption is like better than before. Yes, I feel like I did not know like the word boundary, that there were boundaries before. When I tried to find a way to make boundaries, I did it in also an unhealthy way where I was just like, cut you out, you know, like very abruptly. I think when somebody doesn't make me feel good, like if I don't get good vibes about something, I will make separations. I have learned that I cannot control the people around me, but I can control myself and the proximity and the people and places that I surround myself with. And it is hard, especially like if it's ever with like family or friends, like, and that's normally the people that you have unhealthy relationships with because you actually like you love so much that you let things people treat you differently because you love them that has been really hard because there have been certain situations that it's like you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings but in the process you're hurting yourself actually when you take care of yourself you're actually taking care of the other person too still working on it like i said but yeah definitely better next assumption you have insecurities like all of us yes that would be correct <laughs> yeah i struggle a lot with feeling insecure, like comparing. I think it's, especially on platforms like this, when you see all everybody doing these things and living this life and they're like highlight reels at all times, it's really easy to get insecure. I'm really bad about comparing myself to different other points in my life and not looking at the big picture. I try to use my techniques and coping me mechanisms when I get an unhealthy pattern of that to acknowledge like why am I feeling insecure what what has got me in this rabbit hole where I'm really focusing on these things and feeling them confident and being able to like express that not beat up on myself any more than I already have and like let it go I would love to meet a person who doesn't have any insecurities I like, and I'm not saying that, like I truly would love to meet them and get some guidance. <laughs> Next assumption, you love to pursue dance in some way. Yes, I actually would. I just want to get back. I learned so much on Dancing with the Stars. I love the ballroom dancing and like want to make sure that I keep the technique and the things that I got from like being thrusted into it in such a crazy way. Adam has always, before we met, always wanted to take dance classes. And he actually is giving too much credit, but like really good naturally. So I would love for us to start taking 
ballroom dancing classes together. But yeah, I think it's important to like move my body and feel like comfortable moving my body. Yeah, I would love to always like keep dance a part of my life in some way. And I think I like it even better now because my whole relationship with dance in the past has always been like some type of competition, but to just dance for fun is something that I haven't done in ever. That'd be really awesome. Next assumption, you're really good at writing. I've always, I won't say I'm like really good at writing, but I am, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at writing. I've always liked to write. And yeah, I just wrote a book and that's always been something that I wanted to do. I didn't always think it would be a book about myself, which is about, or about my life, which is what my book's about. Plug, if you haven't gotten, pre-ordered your book, you still can, God bless this mess. will be out November 23rd, but you can go ahead and pre-order. I've, I've always thought I would write some type of book. Really happy that I had the platform to be able to write about the things that I've experienced in my own personal life. Always loved like fiction books growing up. So could see myself one day getting into that. And I journal every day. So me writing a book is not just something I like wanted to check off the list. It's like actually something that I've always been passionate about. Something I like to do. So yeah. You love to work out. Oof. I've gone through state. I, I, hmm. <laughs> I think working out is so important for me and my body loves it. And I am proud when I work out. Sometimes it's like really hard for me to work out or like if I'm like emotionally exhausted, the routines and the workout routines that I'm used to doing feel a lot harder. So it kind of depends depends on where I am in my mental health or my physical health. I mean, they're so hand in hand. So when I'm feeling great, I love to work out. And that's not just because like, I'm like stronger, fitter. It's just like you, when you feel good, but to feel good, you have to continue working out. So I try to really I listen to my body. Some days, you know, I might have boxing on the schedule, but my body really needs to slow down and needs to do yoga. So just trying to move a little bit a day Yes, I love to do a workout that way. Um, but sometimes, no, my body's not like, hey, let's go run seven miles today. I'm not like always pumped and jazzed about that. I am trying to really work to honor my body and trying to, to change the way that I look at working out so that I love it because I love my body. Does that make sense? Next assumption, you love the Cali life more than Bama. So I just went home recently. As soon as I got to like Birmingham and saw my friends, I was like, oh, I miss this so much. There are parts of it that I miss, but by the time that I left, I was so excited to get back. I am so fortunate. Like I look out my window and I can see the ocean. That is something that I've always dreamed about having. I love Cali right now because of that. If I lived somewhere else, I, I think it'd be different. I do still miss back home a lot. I yeah, I'm loving Cali right now and miss Bama, but I, I want to be here. So you have a great work-life balance. <laughs> I'm so grateful, but I also never expected to have this type of work as I do. My job is to be myself and to find opportunities where, where I can best do that and, and work with different products and, and companies. And then also like write a book and have my own type of products and brands. So I actually have a lot of flexibility with my time of like, I, I set my schedule. I I'm able to have this life that a lot of people like dream of having. However, with this job work-life balance, there's not that much structure in it. So I have to like make the structure and that's really hard for me sometimes. I think what's really helpful for me is getting out of the house to go do work. So to really be able to like when I get home and there's certain parts of the house, I can feel like it's where I can relax. So I wouldn't say that it's complete, uh, that I have a great work-life balance, but I am trying to work on it. Next assumption, you almost gave up on love. I never gave up on love because I've, I've seen people in love and, and know that, that like love is so many different things. It doesn't mean love like just for with your partner, but love with yourself, love for other people in your life. So I never give up on love, but 
I wondered what was wrong with me. No wonder this is not working out because I don't know how to love myself. And that's, that can be a little defeating, but also something that you can work on to realize like, oh, there's some like bigger things I need to tackle than just if I'm gonna have a boyfriend or a, a husband right now. Like, but it hasn't, like there have been moments where I like put it aside. It wasn't something that I focused on. Don't give up. I don't think there's like ever a reason to give up because I feel like you have to be open. Like I think there has to be like an openness about you just like for life. And then somebody comes into your life. I don't think you have to like force it so much. Next assumption, your favorite color is light pink. I understand where that assumption comes from because I feel like I always use light pink and I do love pink. People ask me what my favorite color is all the time and I'm like, oh, it's one of the hardest questions for me because I love, I love blue, I love green, I love like pink, I like neutrals. So I don't know if it's my favorite color, but I definitely use light pink a lot. I mean, it's like all what my book is. Everything that I do always seems to have like a little bit of light pink in it. Blush is the color. <laughs> oh my gosh. Last assumption, you are, oh, I thought that said cringy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are clingy. Uh, I'm, I would not say I'm clingy at all. I'll be like, get away from me <laughs> to people. Like Adam and I, like in my relationship, we love to like snuggle and like can be like super PDA, but there are moments where I'm like, you're great. Go over here. Don't touch me. No, I like Adam to have his life. I have mine, but we like, like to do things together. And in friendships, I don't think my friendships would say I'm clingy at all. They're like, where did she go? Like, <laughs> where? Where have you been? You just go off and do like whatever. No, I have to have my alone time. I think when people are, people are stereotyped or like people claim that somebody else is clingy. I think it, it seems like it's when people are like, don't like love alone time. I love alone time. So I'm clingy to my bed. I like seeing my bed and sleeping. That's me. Those are your assumptions. These were like, really light and I hope I answered them. Maybe you know a little bit more about me. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and comment if you wanna see more of these. What was your, what was the thing that you found out that you were surprised about? Um, let me know. And thank you guys, love you so much. Have the best day, bye.